So the world government deep state. I love that. The world government deep state. Anyway, it is trying to derail Liz Truss's pro-growth supply side agenda as the new prime minister of the United Kingdom. Joining me now is Art Laffer, former Reagan economist and Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient and author of the new book, Taxes Have Consequences, which is available everywhere now. You know, Art, this is a wonderful story. Everybody, Jason Furman, Larry Summers, the IMF, Bloomberg, CNBC, the FT, all jumping on this. Liz Trust. This is the worst thing they've ever seen. Imagine that. Lower marginal tax rates. The worst thing. Well, what do you think about this? I, I, I love those people. When they're all together against me, I feel very comfortable. <laughs> I feel right. secure in my knowledge. You know, we've seen this, we've we've seen this show before. We saw what happened when Thatcher cut tax rates dramatically from 60% to 40%. We saw the, the positive results that occurred in, in, in Britain. I mean, just a phenomenal results. We also saw what happened when Gordon Brown raised the highest tax rate from 40p to 50p. Catastrophe hit Britain. Businesses left the country. Tax revenues went down, Larry. Uh, the thing was, that he got flipped out of office. Then you got David Cameron came in. David Cameron took the 50% tax rate and dropped it to 45. Revenues popped back up again. So we, we had both sides of the equation. And now all they're doing is very simply reducing the marginal tax rate back to where it was under Margaret Thatcher. Now, how that can get people all excited, all energized, I have no idea. But it's very normal. It's very good for Britain. And it's very good for us, by the way. It's a good leadership. Uh, bringing the U.S. back to looking at tax rates, which really do matter. And they, they also, by the way, were going to raise the corporate tax rate next year to 25%, yep. and they eliminated that altogether, and they lowered the basic rate, the bottom rate, from 20% to 19%, brought it right up, which is just what you needed, Larry. And they did a beautiful job, and I'm really proud of them. There's a payroll tax cut in there, and also there's an extension yep. of the 100% uh, depreciation, immediate expensing uh, yes, for plant equipment and machinery. I mean, it's just astonishing to me. So you have this universe of essentially Keynesian liberal progressive policies, call it what you may, for USA, all of Europe until recently. Um, everybody spend money and print money. And along comes Liz Truss. And I interpret her, by the way, she wants the Bank of England to be much tighter. Part of the, the currency is falling. It's been falling all year. Yes. The Bank of England's way behind the Federal Reserve on that. So she wants tighter money, which I think will boost the currency and stop inflation. And then she wants to grow. Not spending, but by cutting tax exactly. rates. So the establishment, uh, I call it the deep state, the world government deep state, they're just going crazy about this. <laughs> you know, they're a little, you know, they're a little monopoly over left-wing government spending policies maybe coming to an end. Oh, my gosh. It's great. And, you know, if you knew Kwasi Kwarteng, I, I know him very, very well. I, I know him a lot. He also is very much touring towards a hard money. Uh, you know, he was a big advocate, uh, advocate of gold standards and how they worked historically. So he's a complete supply sider, Larry. It's not just the taxes. It's the taxes, the spending, the regulations and the monetary policy and free trade. You know, all of those are combined, which is the supply side model in total. Uh, I'm 100 percent behind Britain on this. I, I couldn't be happier. You know, it's this is JFK. This is Reagan. This is Trump. There's nothing there's nothing that's like, you know, exactly. out of the universe about this. And the thing that's so annoying, Art, is none of these guys have any facts or historical uh, context to back them <laughs> I up. Know. They just make these statements how bad it is. I mean, I was reading uh, one note from a, I'm, it's a competitor network was saying that the British pound is collapsing because Liz Tr uh, Truss's tax cuts will help wealthy people. So because wealthy people might get help, the British pound is collapsing. I mean, come on. That's just utter nonsense. Balderdash. <laughs> Crazy. It's crazy. It, it is really crazy. And all of it. And this is exactly, by the way, the same press response when Thatcher did it. Same press response when mm, yeah. uh, uh, Cameron did it. Uh, and, uh, you know, they were really pleased when Gordon Brown raised the rate from 40 to 50 P and then couldn't understand why revenues didn't come in, why the economy went in the tanks and why he got thrown out of office right away. I mean, it is a classic model of responsive right away. And now you're going to watch Britain perform, outperform the rest of the world year in, year out. 
going forward. It's just very exciting that we finally got Thatcher back in Britain mm. under the name of Liz, Liz Truss. Yeah. It's just super. So, and uh, we can watch this experiment. And by the way, by the time it's over, they won't, uh, they won't have changed their minds at all. But no. we can still just go at them. Well, uh, they attacked us mercilessly for the corporate tax cuts for Trump, which turned out to be spectacular. You know, Art, one other point. Uh, I, knew, wonderful. I knew Liz Truss when I was in government because she was the trade minister. So I had some dealings with her. Um, one thing I'd love to see, which the Bidens have shut down so far, that we're supposed to have, post-Brexit, a UK-US trade deal, which would be terrific. Exactly. Uh, I haven't heard any talk about that, but I think that would be big help. Well, I, it would be a big help. And if it were a Trump administration right now, it would be just done. But because of the Biden one, I don't think they're going to do it. Uh, and that would be lending support to this administration over in Britain. But we will get the, the trade agreement with Britain. And when that happens, that will be the full scale across the board supply side policies. And I, I think this is going to be a winner for everyone in the world. And if you look at the IMF's performance with other countries, Larry, I was just in Pakistan with the Imran Khan about five months ago. And the IMF is just suggesting the worst possible policies on that country, how to ruin a country in one easy lesson, go to the IMF and tell, do what they tell you. It's just wrong. And uh, I'm just uh, surprised that the, anyone who would even think of the IMF as being reasonable. I know. The minute I saw the IMF criticism of the Liz Truss supply-side policies, I knew that she was right. I knew. IMF yes. is always wrong. Exactly. Definitely That's what I said. Everything they do is wrong. You're, ju you're judged by your enemies, not by your yes. friends. And if they come out against you, you're knowing that you're doing the I right mean, this thing. Whole I love this. This is the world government deep state. I don't know what that is, but the IMF's <laughs> part of it. <laughs> and the UN, throw them all it's in great. there. I don't, that court of law in the Hague, throw them all in there. It's all uh, nonsense. They're always wrong. They're always wrong. You're always right. Art Laffer, it, folks. Always wrong. And, and, they, what, and they open the door for us in the future. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. And we are going to kick their keisters. All right. Thanks very much.